Imagine this. You're having major life changes and you have to make big decisions. Um, you feel like you have to talk to somebody professional. Whom do you go to? A psychologist, a therapist, a counselor, a psychiatrist? So many options, so confusing. Whom? Now imagine this. You have a friend. This friend is having irregular sleeping habits, irregular eating habits, is not able to function properly, does not want to go to college or school. Whom do you take them to? A psychologist, a therapist, a counselor, a psychiatrist? Whom? This is generally a very, very confusing situation. Welcome to this video. Let's learn about the different kinds of mental health professionals. This will let us know whom to approach, when and what happens. So who are the different types of mental health professionals? The first one, a psychiatrist. A psychiatrist is a medical doctor or a physician, typically with an MBBS and an MD in psychiatry. They prevent, diagnose and treat mental illnesses. They are licensed to write prescriptions. They also monitor the effect of mental illness on other physical conditions such as the heart rate, blood pressure, the sugar levels, thyroid, sleep, kidney, liver, etc. They manage the medications. Sometimes the medication in itself is enough to treat the mental illness, whereas sometimes it has to be a combination of psychotherapy or medication or counseling or medication or just psychotherapy in itself. The second one is a psychologist. A psychologist is somebody who has done their degree as well as their post-graduation in the field of psychology. Now there are some psychologists who have not done their degree in psychology but only their post-graduation in psychology. Now that's okay too considering the amount of experience that they have in the field. However, to become a clinical psychologist, you need to have a post-graduation in clinical psychology plus two years of clinical setting work which is an MPhil in clinical psychology. A psychologist can only do certain kinds of therapies and provide counseling whereas a clinical psychologist can make a diagnosis. They are the ones who administers different kinds of tests and do diagnosis of different kinds of mental illnesses. They can also conduct different kinds of behavioral therapies. Then we have psychotherapists. Psychotherapists are therapists who are specialized in certain kinds of therapies such as psychoanalytical therapy, behavioral therapy, cognitive therapy, CBT that is cognitive behavioral therapy, humanistic therapy, holistic psychology, etc. So if you're seeking for a certain kind of therapy, they are the ones to go to. Then comes therapists. Under therapists, there are a lot of people specializing in different areas. For example, there is relationship therapists, there are family therapists, there are couples therapists, there are sex therapists, etc. They are supposed to be having their post-graduation in psychology along with a diploma or any kind of course that gives them a specialization in that particular field. For example, in relationship or family therapy, etc. Then comes the counsellors. Now this is a very tricky area to understand because not everybody who is a counsellor is somebody with a post-graduation or a degree in psychology. Even people who have their masters in social work can also be counsellors. Even people with just, uh, just some kind of a course or diploma in psychology can also be counsellors. Not that they are very highly recommended but there is a possibility that they could be good counsellors considering the amount of experience that they have had and the kind of studies that they have gone through. So there are many kinds of counsellors, for example, school counsellors, relationship counsellors, community counsellors, guidance counsellors, etc. Now, uh, the thing with counsellors are, the only thing that they do is talk therapy. They can only use talk therapy, they can only do counselling. It's not very highly recommended to get any kind of therapy which is uh, like behavioural therapy or any kinds of treatment from the side of a counsellor. Yes, granted even with all of this information it might be a little confusing for you so let's make it a little more easier. If you just want to talk to somebody then the best person to probably go to is a counsellor or a psychologist. But in case there's more underlying trauma inside of you and there's more things to be seen, then it's the job of the counsellor or the psychologist to refer you to someone else. For example, a clinical psychologist or a therapist or a psychiatrist, depending on what is required. 
in case you've been noticing symptoms of mental illnesses or mental disorders in a person and you feel like they need serious help then it's best to take them to a clinical psychologist or a psychiatrist here is a pro tip in case you have friends who have studied psychology or who are studying psychology just ask them they will tell you who is the best person to refer to i hope this was informative and helpful i hope i have cleared your confusion on who to go to when oh hey have you subscribed to this channel yet if you haven't it's high time you do just click on my face below <laughs> to subscribe we make different kinds of videos There's this segment called You and Me at Sugar Cube. Sugar Cube is basically our home, and me and my mom and my brother we take videos from our home, talking about things and doing things. Don't forget to share and comment below. Thank you so much for watching. Have a brilliant day.